hi guys welcome back to the web so this article is very interesting and very important as it relates to Meghan Markle and her husband who are very high profiled and most of us know about what the accusations that she made about someone in the royal family so let's dive into it and this is coming from the Washington Post the source is actually in the description of the video so check it down below and please guys don't forget to like and subscribe I was amused at the breathless astonishment of CNN's anchors over the revelation by Prince Harry and Meghan the Duke and Duchess of Sussex that someone in the royal family had raised concerns about the potential skin color of the couple's unborn biracial child. During the couple's televised interview Sunday night, Oprah Winfrey played the moment for maximum dramatic effect, literally dropping her jaw as she asked Meghan to repeat the allegation that when she was pregnant with her first child Archie there had been concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's boring. I immediately thought about the adult women I grew up with who would crowd around the, the bassinet inspecting the newborn's ears looking for a clue to indicate how light or dark skinned the child would end up being, especially if the parents came from opposite ends of the brown color spectrum. All right, guys, let's pause for a minute here. So the author of this piece is Vanessa Williams. So she's coming from her own background and perspective to present this through the Washington Post. So she's talking as first person. All right. This is not to let the palace off the hook. If indeed a member of Harry's family interrogated him about his child's potential skin tone. In a statement Tuesday responding to the allegations, Queen Elizabeth II said that the issues raised, particularly that of race, are concerning and would be addressed by the family privately. Now, guys, pause for a minute again. Let's get this straight. So Vanessa Williams is, is expressing herself through the Washington Post as she writes this article and she quote the Queen as saying that basically what the palace issued the issues raised particularly that of race are concerning and will be addressed by the family privately it is racist to assign degrees of value to human beings based on skin color or other physical features. Enslavers created and reinforced this caste system by often treating their mixed race children just as a little better, assigning them to work inside the plantation residences, sometimes educating them even as they kept them in bondage. Black people internalized that racist hierarchy. And to this day, some still embrace the idea that those with skin lighter than a paper bag are more attractive, more acceptable. Older black people used to describe those fixated on skin tone as color struck. Wow, ain't we learning something new today? 
so I wanted to create the title of this um, session so the fact segment I was going to explain what um, the pa paperback test was but since it's already explained then you guys understand the paperback test was actually used by holding up a piece of paper usually in a um, it's like a light brown paper bag that if it's darker than that then it's unacceptable but if it's lighter or at the same complexion then the, it the child is acceptable or the adult is acceptable to society as a pass to whiteness I hope you guys understood that and that's my reasoning of it it's not just black Americans all over the world racial and ethnic groups fawn over members with less pigmentation and frown on those who have darker complexions cream colored girls let me say that again cream colored girls and women are simply pretty deep brown girls and women who turn heads are described as black but pretty the girls in my family covered a range of skin tones and my mother and aunt took care to assure all of us that we were beautiful why bother pointing out the obviously misguided attitudes about skin tone because colorism is about more than hurtful taunts on the playground or school hallways colorism can lead to emotional and mental trauma as the doll tests of the 1940s showed discrimination based on skin color damage the self-esteem of black children dark-skinned women even in predominantly black countries burn their faces with chemical concoction in an effort to lighten their skin it has also affected employment opportunities for people of color historically women with darker skin have struggled in the beauty fashion and entertainment industries less likely to be chosen as cover girls and leading ladies a YouGov survey in 2019 found that darker skinned black women Americans were more likely to say that they experience racism frequently what's more most black people agreed with them the survey asked black people to choose their complexion categories and of those who identified as having the darkest skin tone about half reported that they experienced racism very or fairly frequently by comparison 26 to 34 percent of black people who identified as having lighter complexions said the same Megan told Winfrey that the firm informed her and her husband that their child would not be given a title and such privileges and services as security protection that he would be treated differently than the other royal babies the decision had apparently been made before there was a chance to see whether baby Archie would pass the paper bag test guys this is alarming is that astonishing shocking that this have been revealed I've been seeing um, pieces of the interview I have not watched it yet but I will shortly I'll get into it I find it very interesting that according to this article the paper bag test came to the Buckingham Palace 
quite a eye-catching article thank you guys for listening peace out and i'll see you guys in the next one